Stephanie Rawlings Blake, who does great things for us here in Baltimore City Schools. While our sign is going back up to greet the mayor, Mayor, we would like to say thank you so much for coming and joining with us, and not just joining with us, but choosing our school to be the launch site for the attendance campaign for Baltimore City Schools. As you know, attendance is very near and dear to our hearts. Attendance is one of our first safety nets. It's one of the things that we look at that's very important to make sure that our learning is continuing with our students. And we're just really excited that the mayor has chosen us to launch this effort. I just want to thank my staff for helping to prepare the opportunity for the mayor to come, our scholars for supporting us, uh, my executive director, Linda Iverson, Dr. Linda Iverson, thank you so much, our network, and also our partners who are sitting to my left, thank you so much for coming. And we would like to welcome the mayor with our very own Douglas Thomas, who will introduce the mayor at this time. Mayor Blank, I mean, Mayor Rollins, Rollins Blank, we welcome you to Team Frederick. We are glad that you chose Frederick Elementary to launch our your Baltimore City attendance campaign. We are the, the light to have you here. Excellent job, Douglas. And before the mayor comes to speak, to really give her a great welcome, we would like for her to join us with the PBIS pledge, so please stand. Are you ready? Considerate, cooperative, loving, and kind, Frederick Falcons always shine. We are the three R superstars, always respectful, responsible, and ready. It is our goal every day to strive for excellence. Learning is our daily mission. Failure is not an option. Average is officially over. Excellent. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you. And, and you know, I feel officially welcome. If that comes off, don't stress yourself. I feel officially welcome this morning. I want to thank uh, Principal Draper. I want to thank Douglas for his introduction. Didn't he do a great job with his introduction? to thank your city councilman, Councilman Pete Welch. Can you give him a big hand? So we have a few sponsors that are making this attendance challenge possible, and I want us to give a warm thank you to all of our sponsors. First, I would like to thank Comcast. Please rise. I can't tell you, I can't tell you what is, Comcast is like oxygen. My Comcast went out last week, I almost panicked. We had, we had to actually talk in the house. <laughs> I'm just teasing, we talk all the time. But it is nice to have your cable working. They got it straight, all is well. And who likes playing sports? Does anybody here know how to play soccer? Yes, can we give a big thank you to the Baltimore Blast for being here? They are our sponsors as 
They're really into soccer. I also, I have one other question for you. Does anybody in here like pizza? We'll get, so we have another great sponsor. Has anyone heard of Domino's Pizza? Can we give a big thank you to Domino's Pizza? of Domino Pizza in here. I also want to thank Under Armour as well for their, su their support. I also want to thank the Frederick Elementary community partners, including Mercy Medical Center, Northern Real Estate, Urban Ventures, and the Chris Wilson Foundation. Can we give a big hand to all of the parents who are here today? If you are a parent or a family member, please wave your hand. All the parents and family members, please wave your hands. Thank you for being here. All right, so I see some pretty happy faces out here today. I know you're excited, but I know that you, you can't wait to get back to class, right? <laughs> Listen, it is okay to miss class from time to time when something really important is going on it, or if you're really feeling bad, if you're really not feeling well. So, we also know that too much time out of class is a bad thing. When you miss too much class, you often have a hard time graduating. You can't keep up, and you're not able to take care of yourself. Even worse than that, too much time out of class can put you at risk from some of the bad influences like drugs and crime. And we don't want that, do we? And that's exactly what no one here wants to see happen to any one of you in this room. We don't want to hear that any of you have dropped out of school, have fallen victim to bad influences, or ended up being a victim of crime because you were out of school. None of your teachers ever want to read or hear the news that one of you was caught doing something bad because you felt like you had no other choice. That's why it is so important to come to school every day on time. Who was on time today? You see, I didn't raise my hand, did you? Miss it just by a little bit. Well, I'm very proud of all of you. You're all beautiful, you're talented, and you're smart, and you are our future. And you have many choices that you can take in life. But we want you to, ex to succeed. And in order for you to succeed, you have to be here on time every day. And that's why we have the attendance competition. The theme this year is, it takes a Baltimore community to raise a child. That's why so many of us are coming together to encourage you to come to school every day ready to learn. You may, you may not be uh, our children by birth, meaning I only have one little girl, but I feel like all of Baltimore's children are my children. And we feel that it takes a community because you know, it takes all of Baltimore to make sure that each and every one of you have what it takes to succeed. Over the 2013-14 school year, schools across the city will compete for fun and prizes. Who likes to compete for prizes? Who likes to compete just so they can say they, because they, they like to compete? <laughs> well, I guess a win is a prize for you, right? So, the competition will be broken up into age bracket, brackets, so you'll be competing against students of your own age. Pre-K and kindergarten, first through eighth grade, will, com will compete from September the 30th to the November the 5th. And ninth through 12th grade will compete from March the 3rd to May the 12th. The school with the greatest improvement in attendance for each bracket compared to the same period last year will win some very exciting prizes, including some monetary awards for your school. That means your school will, will earn money so you can do fun things at school. And students in the winning school will receive incentives that continue to build on a stronger educational environment as well as a big congratulatory event. That's code for a party. Is anybody interested in that? You have to be a little bit more excited about a party than that. That's what I like to hear. So I know we've talk, I've talked a lot about prizes and incentives and parties, but the 
biggest prize you can win is something that no competition can give you. And that is a good education, the ability to go on to be whatever you want to be in life. And that's what we want for you. I know each and every one of you have some idea of where you want to be and what you want to be when you grow up. But you have to work hand in hand with your partners, with your family, and with all of us to make sure that you get there. None of us can reach our dreams by ourselves. I certainly didn't do it by myself. And it's going to take all of us working together to help you. And we want you to know that all of us here, everyone that you see, wants you to be successful. So, do you make the pledge to come to school every day and on time? Yeah. Wonderful. So, I want you to give a big hand to one of our first sponsors, and that is uh, Carmen Walker-Brown from Comcast. Can you say thank you, Ms. Carmen, and welcome? Thank you so much. Good morning, boys and girls. How are you? Comcast is very excited to be a part of the Mayor's Attendance Campaign, and certainly the partnership between Baltimore City Schools, the Mayor's Office, and the Baltimore City Foundation. Um, it's really great to be here at Frederick Elementary School and to help us, you're, you're helping us kick off this, this year's campaign. So thank you for having us here. Comcast has a very vested interest in providing you with every opportunity to be prepared for your futures. We're committed to ensuring that Baltimore area students have access to the tools that they need in order to succeed. And we do this how many of you love working on the computer? How many of you get a chance to work on the computer at home? Very good. You see, when I was growing up, we didn't have computers. <laughs> I'm dating myself, but I'm much, much, much older <laughs> than all of you. So we didn't have computers when I was growing up. Computers now are a part of your life. It's, it is so integral to what you do in terms of your learning and your future. So Comcast has a program called Internet Essentials, which helps provide that broadband internet access to you at home at a lower cost. So we're very proud of being able to offer an opportunity like this to make sure that all students, no matter what their income levels, have an opportunity to be successful. Now, over the past couple of years, we've actually signed up over 2,000 families. And through that 2,000 families, we are actually reaching probably 8,000 or more individuals and providing internet service to them. All righty. Now, when I said, I asked if anybody loved pizza, you all said yes, right? Yes. So can we give a big hand to Mr. Eric Aaron Dolkowski from Domino's Pizza? Don't worry about it. Hello, guys. Domino's Pizza is excited to sponsor the community of Baltimore and the Baltimore Public School System. Attendance is important not only for learning in the classroom today, but it provides an excellent foundation for good work and study habits that will benefit you guys for the rest of your life. Domino's is proud to participate in a program that advances education, education and helps students reach their full potential in life. And we are also excited to provide a pizza party to the winning schools at the end of the year. <laughs> Good luck, and I hope to be back at this school in a few months to have a pizza party. Thank you, guys. So can we give a big hand to Mr. Healy from the Baltimore Blast? Hi, I'm Kevin Healy from The Blast. I've brought two all-star players with me today. First on our right, Adalto Neto, straight from Brazil. And Pat Healy, who grew up right here in Baltimore. Both of these players, both of these players understand the value of education. Adalto from Brazil came over and went to college in Alabama. Pat grew up right here in Baltimore, went to elementary school, high school, and college right here in Maryland. And certainly this education initiative falls right into our wheelhouse of education in the blast and what we do. Our players are our role models. Some of the things that the mayor talked about today, we're here to support. We're here to support the mayor 
We're here to support the principal, we're here to support the teachers, and we're here to support you as students. We're here to talk to you about anti-bullying, stay away from drugs, stay away from alcohol, making good decisions, how to eat healthy in your life, and we're here to support you. With that, we're part of the rewards program. We understand the value of a team. We won six championships in the last 11 years. If your team wins, if your school wins, everyone in December is invited to the Baltimore Blast game for free. Thank you so much again to our very own mayor, Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake. We're so excited that you are here. Councilman Welch, thank you so much for supporting us again as always.